We've all been there when that vague soil beneath evaporating dreams dries its parched roots, retreating to be weak, or when our refurbished fuel strenuously redeems our delicate lighthouse by exploiting scenes, falsely screaming for darkness to emit extreme insecurities, questioning security. That's when giving up looks appealing, so we debate reasons, consider abandoning our goals, leaving, but instead of sabotaging ourselves, we find that inner strength and kick our inner critics out. The world on my shoulders is how I lived. For many years feeling guilty for the things I did. They told me it was all sin. Come to find out it was all fibs. A kid expressing inner feelings and passions to make it big. Yes, it left me broken in the turtle shell I was stuck in. And alone I remained with my mind, heart, and soul. Hoping one day I can sing this song and help another soul. Today a little bird sang to me, kick the inner critic out, good riddance to the past. This moment, this present, this gift is what really matters to create futures that last forever. Get your suit of steel on, sword, and start cutting through the obstacle system, people your mind has held on to, to keep you in that place of slaves and no greatness. With the world on your shoulders, you shouldn't live, feeling guilty for the things you did. And because they tell you it was all sin, just know it was all fibs. You're just a kid expressing your inner feelings and passions to make it big. I've been a pendulum to one extreme or the other. Sometimes I want to give up and hide, but there's something inside of my soul that pushes me to go, taking the unknown road, that same road that I've abandoned many times before. But I guess the humble writer in me never fully locked that door, because within the last year I've heightened my light to explore poetry even more. Who would have thought a kind comment on a video could lift me into paradise? pierce my uncertain heart through a digital device. Sure, it's poetry for me, but this applies to all life. If I would have given up, I would have lost the chance to spiritually rise. There's profound purities in everyone. Even when our passionate eyes sink into sadness and betray Zen reflections, or when unnamed talents surge shame through untamed guilt, never lose sight of your skill. Never lose to the chambers of the unfulfilled. Whatever you do, and all that you do, don't give up, keep going. Feeling like a glitch in this poetry game my heart loves, my ego convicts. Makes me feel ashamed of the words that bleed through the end of my pen. The sheet soaks with emotions that maybe would help me stay sane and save another with pain. Keeps me spewing the cells of my brain until all is lost and considered insane. God help me, I'm the only one with this self-affliction in my veins. Wishing not on any men or women. I know I have friends, brothers and sisters that will ride and write with me to the end. With no prejudice, like a life with poetry at the beginning of this poesy.